Hello, what's up guys? This is Michael from Project A3. Today, I will review this Sanfer MT300. First of all, thank you for Sanfer for providing me with this review unit. So, I have known Sanfer for quite some time. Since the first time I owned their product is around 2016, which is the Sanfer UE. And this is one of their latest product, the MT300. And it, it is priced around $175. It has one of the most ambitious technology which is consists of one dynamic driver, one balanced armature, and one electrostatic per housing. And it comes with this super premium box. Look at this. Look at how premium this is. Okay, so this is quite a product. Let's start with the review. This review will be divided into four sections, the build and fit, sound, comparison, and also the conclusion. Let's just start with the build and fit. So the housing is definitely made of metal and it is really beautiful. You can see how they look pretty. And they feel definitely robust. It has quite some weight to it. The nozzle is quite big and this is the first time I see this kind of filter. It's really unique this. It has MMCX connector with locking mechanism. You see, so after you connect the MMCX, you just lock it like this. It helps to secure the MMCX. And then the cable itself is you can see it is hybrid. It is made of, I think it's copper and silver plated copper. It feels robust, but it's not really flexible. The jack part looks good also. You can see the Y splitter is quite big here. And the fit is really good thanks to the really smooth housing. I found no sharp edges anywhere, but the arc of the ear guide is quite strange. You can see this is quite long and this is the picture of me using it. You can see the arc is quite far from my ears which sometimes can be a little awkward but it's fine. The housing sits perfectly in my ears. To test the sound I will use my X-Duo X10 and also iFi XDSD and here is the song list. The sound signature of this IM is definitely bright, yet it is smooth in texture. Also, they are really detailed, yet inoffensive, so this is quite unique. They are sparkling, yet smooth. Starting from the low notes, the bass is actually punchy, but soft in texture. It never takes the spotlight. It's just sitting there nicely and complete the whole frequency. For neutral lover like me, the quantity is just enough, but I bet best head will crave for more bass. Now going to the mid range, it is definitely leaning towards the upper mid because it lacks body in the lower mid, resulting in a thin vocal and thin instrument sound. Take then a crawl for example. East of the sun, west of the moon, her vocal is supposed to be a little thick in there, but in this MT300, it sounds thin. Now it's the spotlight part, the treble. It is precise, fast, detailed, and airy. Instruments like flute and strings really shines here. Try to hear classical violin like La Primavera and La Campanella. You will realize how good the treble is, trust me. Going to the technical part, actually the sound stage width is moderate, but it has a tall height thanks to its sparkling treble. But the separation is really good, let me tell you, it is top notch. Every individual or instruments are separately clearly here. Now, how is it compared to the well-known Moondrop KXSS? 
So, the, starting from the low notes, the bass is actually really similar. It has this smooth speed and punch that is similar, yet the KXSS has more punchy bass and also has more quantity. The mid-range is also smoother in KXSS, yet it is actually clearer in MT300. The high notes are smoothened in KXSS. Somehow it's muting the bite of the instruments like violin, yet the MT300 gave more breath to the high. The sound stage is actually really really different where the KXSS you could find more width but the MT200 has more height and also the separation is definitely better on the MT300. So here are the pros, cons and conclusion. For the pros, it has a really premium box and a lot of your tips. It is built like a beautiful tank, it is robust yet beautiful. Very detailed and fast travel, also good separation. And in the cons, it has awkward ear guide, lower treble peak, it lacks body in the mid-range, and incoherency between drivers. So for the conclusion, they are beautiful, bright, and technical. It is recommended for those who are fond of a detailed and fast high notes without intrusion. And here are our final score. So that's it for today's review. Please give comment if you have any equation. And don't forget to give like and subscribe. And that's it. I'm Michael from Project A3. See you next time. Bye-bye.